I believe technology is not shifting our moral belief. Our morals are somewhat independent. It shifts what we can do. I believe our moral compass often influences what technology we work on. I think morality in machines is very interesting, and I think we're going to have to deal with that issue sooner than we may believe. Now, often when people look into technology like self-driving cars, they ask ethical questions like what happens if the car has to make a decision. It could come into a situation where it may have to decide whether to crash into a bus or kill the driver. Are we going to program that moral choice into your car? Will you get to select that when you get in your car? You know, what's your um, you know, self-harm to harm to other ratio? So your self-driving car could kill you. Please accept. Uh, I think those things are really, really challenging. On the one hand, it's, um, it's allowing us to treat the masses better. But on the other hand, it's really having a destructive effect on the ability of individual humans to relate to other individual humans. In a world where our products are made all over the world, we constantly communicate with people all over the world. All that's technologically enabled and it causes a shift in sort of our fundamental picture of who we are. For instance, uh, for soldiers, it's abstracting the process of killing by allowing them to be in a um, control room in Rochester, New York, operating a drone that's dropping bombs on people in Afghanistan. The launching of weapons remotely to do distasteful killing is something that humankind has been involved in ever since the invention of the bow and arrow. Therefore, the experience of taking another human life becomes much more trivial. When I'm in these discussions and we discuss, it's not the drone necessarily that's doing the targeted killing, it's the policy. You will almost always see inside these, these discussions a shift. People realize it. They realize that they've been attacking a technology instead of the policy. When the technology first come to the marketplace, there's always unintended consequences. And we tend to mix that. We tend to mix the usage of the technology as, as the shifting of moral compass. But the basic moral beliefs about dignity of human life and respect, these will be mediated by technology and technology will give people a better chance to achieve those goals. The human existence has always been good against evil. There will definitely be a time when people look back at many of the things that we sort of consider morally acceptable and say, wow, they were they were kind of half animals still.